Italian guys, welcome back. Um, today video I wanted to share um, how to protect yourself from negativity kind of topic. Um, so before we start, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. Uh, we are uh, celebrating Skanda Shashti right now, which is a, a festival which is about Lord Murga Subramanya, the, one of the sons of Shiva. And um, he conquered uh, three demons and that is basically the festivity that is going on. Um, Simha, Simha Mukha, Taraka Asura and Surapadma. So these are the three demons that uh, Skanda Subramanya uh, destroyed within this, uh, is about to destroy. I think today is the, the day where we celebrate the, the end of these, the, of the torment of these asuras, these demons. So um, I wanted to make a small video about that and about negativity in the first place. Um, one thing that is there in Surapadma, in the, in the battle between Skanda and Surapadma, we see that the demon comes to Subramanya in various forms again, again and again. And Skanda or Subramanya or Murga, he has to identify and to destroy all the different manifestations of that demon. At the end, the demon even comes in the form of a mango tree. So uh, what I wanted to share is that when we have, when we operate from powerlessness or beings who decide to operate and um, invest their lifetime and energy in powerless cognitions, they will automatically um, aim to, I mean, destroy things around them. Most of the time, I mean, it's not a conscious decision. They don't realize they're too caught in the pattern in the life negative thought current. They're so caught in it that they don't even see the delusion that they generate for themselves. Um, so it's not like they're doing it consciously, but yeah, in a certain way, yeah, because they don't cherish the yearning or the desire to, um, to manifest completion in their life and they fail to see, or I should say they avoid seeing that they are stuck in that dimension. And so they start to do all kinds of things which, which lead people and things around them to a lower state of frequency. So um, what I wanted to share is that we need to have powerful cognitions. One of the things why deities have, Swamiji was sharing why deities have so many weapons, it's basically a weapon is, a, is, a, is an embodiment of a powerful cognition. So you need to have a lot of powerful cognition and you need to be able to grasp and see the space from which uh, the being in front of you operates because um, otherwise you will not be able to identify how to engage and um, with that uh, being. So that's why third eye is so important. So with the third eye, you can see the space from which the people come towards you. And then from there, you know how to engage with them, how to respond to them and how to enrich them. And uh, Skanda is the embodiment of that, Murga Subramanya is the embodiment of that, powerful cognitions. The demon keeps coming in various forms, but he is not fooled by any of these forms. He identifies it and removes it and stops it right away. Um, I can say also it's like when the mind is cherishing powerless cognitions, I mean, mind is always cherishing powerless cognitions, but when, these, um, when you give a cognition to a mind, uh, earlier, a few days back, two days back, I made a video about attachment, right? So for instance, when you have an understanding, a spiritual understanding that your mind grabs, instead of your being grasping it and making it an experience for you and an understanding, um, when the mind grabs it, it uses it in so many ways just to distract you from seeing what actually needs to be done. So um, that's, 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 that's very important uh, to understand and to see that uh, it does that and that's how it happens. So that's why seeing the space where these things uh, uh, happen or come forward is very important. So you know if you need to remove it or if you need to welcome it from your life. And um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. So uh, Hinduism is very rich in symbolisms, in stories, in visual um, depiction of what is actually happening inside of us, the inner space. And uh, that is why it is easy uh, to 
um, relate to the spiritual truth because so many stories and so many uh, Puranas means things that actually happened um, in the past or on different planes are happening and they are there to depict the kind of um, war, I don't know if war is the right term, but this kind of experience that we have in the inner space and leading us towards enlightenment. So always having a powerful cognition and always seeing where the person is coming from, where the being is coming from and um, responding to that accordingly with again, powerful cognition. So yes, that's what I wanted to share with you guys um, today about this. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. So you can check it, the story of Skanda Shashti online if you want to have more understanding of what is happening. Um, and there's going to be tonight during the live satsang, there's going to be um, a live relay of that. So that's going to be very great. So inviting you guys to discover Hinduism and um, to entertain powerful cognitions. So don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, and um, thank you for your support for all of those who do watch these videos on a regular basis and who leave comments and share um, whatever they uh, feel like sharing at that moment. So with this, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Nityanandam. I welcome you all with my love and respect. Let you all open all your three eyes. Ooh.